coming up in Mizzerktastic. anywhere, anytime, hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home. Perfect for families and classrooms. Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to learn about and make art for elephants. I love elephants, they're super cute and if you like elephants too, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so we can see how many people really, really are elephants' biggest fans and hopefully it's a lot. Now are the largest land mammal on our planet called Earth, hopefully, hopefully. Um, <laughs> but elephants are known for their large ears, their large trunks, and their big ivory tusks. They are absolutely majestic and they're actually really, really smart. Now, did you know that you can tell the difference between elephants by looking at their ears? It's true, that's how you can tell different elephants apart, is by looking at their ears. So let's take a look at some elephants and see if we can notice the difference in their ears. This is an Indian elephant. What observations can you make about those ears? This is an Asian elephant. Again, noticing its ears. And this is an African elephant. Can you notice any differences between the African elephant and the Indian or Asian elephant? Now let's head on over to the art studio where we're going to draw an elephant and then make some elephant art. Let's make some art. Let's make our elephant. Big ear. Looks like a flower petal. That's what an ear looks like for an elephant. Big curvy line for the forehead and up for the trunk. And there you go. Big curvy line for the back of the elephant. Curvy line down and then out. And connect for the back leg. Rectangle for the front. Add the rest of the trunk. Bring that one back in. And add the belly. We'll add a little tail. Highlights. 
color your elephant, any color, you don't have to do a gray elephant, do a purple elephant, pink elephant, blue elephant, do whatever mediums you want. See if I have any darker colors. Let's use black wax crayon. I'm just gonna add lightly color to add some shady. Shading under the ears, around the bottom of the body, around the eye. On the bottom of the leg. And just like that, your cute elephant is done. All right, we're going to be creating our super cute elephant. Our super cute elephant uh, artwork though. Here we go. Let's take our wax crayon. We're gonna draw a nice curve for the head. And we're gonna do a skip. We're gonna draw a nice curvy line up and over. I'm just using a black wax crayon to paint. I'm gonna draw. <laughs> okay, bring it down. And then we're gonna draw another line that comes around. Like that. Are we gonna do sound effects when you're drawing? And boop, like that. A little smile peeking out on the other side. Okay, now we're gonna add some big elephant ears. Okay, another line here for the trunk. And then we'll add our another little mouth sticking out. Okay, next we're gonna draw a circle on either side for the eyes. In each circle, draw a smaller circle. And then we're gonna color in the dark of the eyes, leaving those circles white. across the truck, lines around the inside of the ears for expression and around the head. And now we're ready to paint. Let's mix some gray. I'm gonna flip my palette around so you can see me mix. Here's where I have some gray that's a little dried out. White first, okay, and then just a dot of black. Black is pretty powerful, so we don't want to add too much. You can see how much it takes over that white. If you do make it too dark, you can always add a little bit more white. Okay, and 
now we have a black tint or gray. That's it. Now I like to water down, oops, water down my paints just to make it flow a little easier on my paper. I even do that on my canvas. We use artists will use mediums to help them their paint flow. Either both in acrylic, you might use like a matte medium, like an airbrush medium. Sometimes I use that, or uh, maybe you use water, but water kind of takes away the material of the paint. That's why we use another a medium. Um, also, if you're using oil paints, you might use something like liquid or a linseed oil to help that paint move. That's a fun fact. But we're using water because we have paper, so we're gonna help that paint move with a little bit of water. That way you don't get like a dry brush looking like look. See it doesn't it's kind of sticky. So a little bit of water helps that paint move. Also it helps you save the paint. You're not using so much paint. Oh so much paint. I'm just using some liquid temper that I got at the dollar store. Yes. This is some liquid. I'm oh, sorry. Some tempera liquid paint from the dollar store. Cool, right? Just some dollar store paint made for kids. Got a nice little elefante. I'm gonna use some purple to shade. I know, right? Not black, I'm using purple. And I'm gonna mix it on right while my is still wet so it mixes right in and it makes a nice tone so a color plus gray creates a tone a color plus gray creates a tone I'll go around my eyes with that tone and here where there's overlap from the trunk onto the ears Let's see, you see how dry that brush mark is Ugh. That's why I use water. Help you make it, help it move and nicely. Okay, now we got some really cool looking elefante, just elephant. I don't know why I'm saying elefante, other than the word is kind of cool and fun to say. I'm gonna pick a nice elephant background color. Mm, I'm gonna do pink. You can pick whatever color you want. Maybe you wanna do multiple colors, it's up to you. You put you, you make your elephant live wherever you want. You can even paint like a jungle or desert, whatever kind of elephant you have. It's an Asian or Indian elephant or African elephant. big thumbs up if you made this elephant or if you're totally stoked about making this elephant I would love to hear give me a thumbs up you can connect with me on social media at Ms. Artastic on every single platform and I will see you in the next episode Woo! let's make some art well my friend that's it for this episode if you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel if you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and tag me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, 
grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.